Small business is a part of all of us each and every day. It's where we eat, it's where we shop, it's where we go to meet our friends and colleagues. In the wake of COVID-19, our small business community desperately needs our help. We must do our part to help our local communities to once again thrive. We must focus our attention on the small businesses that are the fabric of our great nation. SureUp is a network of small business owners, their employees, and local consumers all working in unison to support each other. By creating incentives for consumers to think local before considering regional and national providers to fulfill their needs, we create local job opportunities and rebuild our communities. In addition, through AI-driven tools and machine learning, in just five minutes a day, SureUp assists business owners in improving their social media presence, which enhances their visibility among consumers and levels the playing field so that local businesses can better compete with large name brand online competitors. When local businesses leverage the SureUp platform, full-time and part-time employees, whether W-2 or 1099, are rewarded with a variety of voluntary perks and member benefit options. These include discounts on the things people do every day, access to low-cost, subscription-based telehealth and teletherapy, discounted prescription drug plans, connection to exclusive Prosper resources, and so much more. All for less than the cost of a cup of coffee each day. The Jumpstart Marketplace is here to support the health and wellness of individual employees as well as the health of businesses in the local communities in which we live and work. We're all in this together, so join us as we reinvigorate our local community and improve the physical and financial health of working America. All right, folks, welcome back uh, to Jumpstart here on WSCX 970 AM, live on La Mega Mundal, broadcast on Temple Network TV, live on Kalalu Network at www.jumpstarteconomy.us, and live on all social media platform. Jessica, I can hear you and I can see you, yes. How, how are you? A two camera shoot today, aren't we, Scott? Yes, we are. Scott is the food and beverage director here at the Fred in Frederickstead, St. Croix. Um, and if you didn't tune in last week, we were here doing about a couple weeks series here at the Fred Hotel. So we're each, out of here. Yep, each week we're going to teach you guys a little bit about the cuisine here, the food and beverage, and then kind of take you on a little tour around the resort. We'd love to have yeah. you and show you around. So. Yes. Yeah, so last week, you know, we got to see the outside and it was funny because we decided to do the lobby today because thank God we did because it's a little cloudy today and we might be getting some rain, but the cisterns will be happy and the landscape will be happy. Exactly. But, uh, exactly. I don't know if your hair would be happy. Right. Exactly. <laughs> no, but uh, I tell you what, it feels so much better here than than outside because it's hot down here in the Caribbean. But thanks for tuning in, every guys, everyone for tasters. So we are um, today going to talk about three dishes that the Fred has prepared for us so in the kitchen. We, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Fred. The Cock Lounge, which is our reception lounge here at the Fred. Um, it has been photographed and featured in lots of Caribbean uh, travel brochures and online, uh, designed by the owners Chris Responson and Jeff Prince. Uh, it's that's probably one of the most photographed lobbies, I think, on St. Croix. So welcome. Uh, it's called the Cock Lounge because we have all of these uh, one-of-a-kind uh, oil paintings uh, paying homage to the local chickens here on the island. So, uh, But today, Chef Fahim is unfortunately off island for a couple of days. He had some business to attend to in the States, so I'm going to be presenting some of his food. What we are doing is we're presenting each week uh, something from our lunch menu and something from our dinner menu. So we do serve lunch every day from 11 to 4, seven days a week, and then we take a little break, change the kitchen over, and we serve dinner from 5 to 8. Uh, and we have a couple of items um, that we're featuring. The first one I want you to try. Let's go. This is Chef Fahim's famous fried chicken. Oh, let's go this way. Okay, that's fine. So fried chicken. So this is something that we talked about last week, though. 
um, that this is a recipe that he brought from his family. And this is grandmother's recipe. Right, so right. this is a classic fried chicken. Um, he does a brine, but he will not tell me what's in the brine. Yeah. And he also has a special breading. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. <laughs> Live TV. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, um, he has a very special recipe that is handed down from his grandmother. And I will tell you, it is scrumptious. So um, if you get, we have uh, two portions, you can just do a half of the chicken, um, a whole chicken, chicken and a half, or two full chickens, uh, which is perfect for a family. And it comes with a major order of Guna mac and cheese. Oh. And then you have the option of locally sourced spinach that we get from Sage Farms. I just picked up 30 pounds of fresh spinach yesterday. And we do sauteed spinach. And we can also uh, offer you our famous uh, fried Brussels sprouts. Mm, so great. that is our fried chicken platter. And that's a nice southern. It's a very southern little lunch entree. And it's, and it's good comfort food. Right. You know? uh, from our dinner menu, we are very pleased to present a smoked duck breast. Oh my God, yum, yum. So we smoke this in house. Hopefully, uh, this won't fall off the plate. Right. <laughs> we do an applewood. It's smoke. all that grease from the chicken. <laughs> We smoke it. We have a smoker outside, so a chef gets uh, some real apple wood, and then he puts some local citrus, uh, a few special ingredients, uh, and he smokes the duck breast, and then we crisp the skin, and then we, when, we, when you order it, we'll take the temperature on the duck breast. Served over a shredded sweet potato pancake, ah. some locally sautéed spinach, and a cassis reduction, which is a creamy cassis. Uh, it's a sweet, almost like a cherry flavor. Uh, Demi glaze over the top. So I want and you to try like that. This is like your number one. Seller. This is this is our more you know our data our whole mantra is barefoot chic. Right. So during lunch it's much more casual. You can be in your bathing suit. You can be sitting barefoot, having something a little bit more lighter. And dinner we are a resort, so we want to offer at least some more you know resort style entrees. Right. So this would be one of our premier right. um, yeah. duck entrees here. Absolutely. And then for dessert. Oh yum. I'm eating large today. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I'm eating large. You're going to need a nap after this tonight. Uh, this is Chef's homemade chocolate bread pudding with uh, fresh vanilla ice cream and a homemade caramel sauce. So that's one of our featured, uh, very popular desserts. So, well, once you get a And then if you're not full enough, Scott, what do we have? To drink. Oh, well, this is also one of our signature cocktails. Right. This is called Fred's Confusion. So obviously, everybody on the island knows what a Crucian Confusion is made with local Crucian well, rum. What, what is that? So, Crucian Confusion isn't like all the rums together. It's multiple rums. And everybody's got their own recipe, but okay. it's usually like seven or eight different rums, all the different flavors, passion fruit, key lime, you know, banana, coconut, mango. Right. Uh, we simplified it a little bit, just took it down to the basic flavors. So, this is just coconut. Mango with fresh pineapple juice, a little float of uh, blackstrap rum on the top. Um, it's super light. It's not overly sweet, but it also gives you that Caribbean rum punch feel. Right. And that's our signature drink called the Friends Confusion. And it's pretty. Thank you. And you can probably yeah. drink two of them. You can probably drink three or four of them. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a lot of them. So. Um, so on today's show, you know, we had the opportunity to tour some rooms this morning, right? We did. Yes. Well, you were checking in. I so. was checking in. I checked in today. Um, so we're going to take you on a little tour here in a little bit after we do a tour of the lobby. Right. So um, what we're saying is we were in, we're in the cock lounge. Right. So when you do check in, this will be the first place you come. So we're going to take you. Should we take you to the door? Sure. Okay. We're going to take you to the door, guys. So we're in the door. <laughs> So we are in the Totten House. Uh, it is the most historic uh, property on the uh, building on the property. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, we try to keep as much of the original woodwork as possible, and uh, we converted the main room into the uh, cock lounge. And then this is also the front desk. So everything is branded here at the Fred. Uh, the hotel is Sleep with Fred. The restaurant is Eat with Fred. The bar is Drink with Fred. So we're at Sleep with Fred right now. So this is our check-in desk. That's Tim behind the counter there. Hi Tim. He's taking a reservation, so we won't we won't bother we won't bother him too much. And if you come this way, we have our gift shop. So we do have a gift shop here at Fred. Uh, we have some branded items, especially our t-shirts. Uh, if you sleep with us, you can buy a t-shirt that says that I slept with Fred and I liked it. 
and uh, we, oh my. Uh, and we also have the classic keep calm and sleep with friends right. so, yes. Yes. but we also have some um, local artists bring us uh, some yeah. things to sell we also have some branded items we are a pet friendly hotel very pet friendly so we have some st croy yes. branded um dog accessories uh we have some uh, doggy treats we have some sunglasses. We have some local uh, recycled glass. Uh, local gentleman by the name of Frank Hirons takes the old cruise yeah. bottles and reimagines them. That's the name of his company is uh, Bottles Reimagined. And we try to have as much local as we possibly can. So when people come and visit St. Croix, they can take a little piece of home with them. Obviously, something with Fred on them. Right. And every That's person that has named Fred has have to buy the little bit. Oh, yes, they do. Right. But I mean, look at the woodwork and the staircase. I want to think of how the staircase. This is, I mean, amazing. So what we try to do is we try to save as much of the, uh, it's not all of it is original, the building has burned several times over its course of its history, but uh, a lot of the wood is quite old. We try to uh, restore and save as much of that as possible. And then add the, uh, the decor is obviously a little splash of modern. Um, and again, these designers are not afraid of using color. No, no, not at all. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anthony, are you with us right now? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm, en I'm enjoying the. I'm enjoying the. I like. I like the sleep with Fred um, uh, illuminated uh, a, a banner that you have there. It, it's. It, it's. It's. It's inviting. Like you know, if you're looking for a good nice rest, you're gonna go sleep with Fred. You know, so uh, it, it's really nice. And then. I noticed you had a nice little souvenir store there with a lot, lots of goodies. Yep, I'm in. I'm enjoying it. Yes. And I want to show you something real quick. So give me one second. Mm -hmm. Let me show you that real quick. Is that something you can order? So we have a, a product line. It's called Comfy. That is our sheets and, uh, and our bedding. And uh, just like every nicer resort or hotel, if you enjoy the bedding and the sheets, you can actually purchase. The entire set. We'll sell you everything from a mattress to the comforter and the pillows and the sheets. So we have a little sample. It's like for Barbie. Dolls. Wait, wait. But what? What is that? A miniature bed? It's yes. for Barbies. Just it's kidding. It. So if you really like your beds here at the Fred, you can buy the bed. And guess what? You he has them in stock, and he delivers for free. Well, I just have kidding. Our, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that was something. You, if you do stay here at the Fred and you enjoy the bed and the linen experience. We can arrange for those to be delivered to your house. Not the ones you slept on, but a brand new set. <laughs> and brand new sheets. And brand new sheets. And, you know, if you want to buy the entire set, we'll see if we send you a map or so. But we're all about the food and the beverage. You know, that's what our culinary background is. And the Fred has, as I said, they have lunch and dinner. And, and now that things are opening up. And things are opening back up again. So we're hoping uh, when the governor allows us, go back to bar service as soon as the governor says so but we are in development for our weekend brunch and then we're also working on getting breakfast for our hotel guests and possibly walking customers so again all in development we did start this from scratch so we have to take this you know one step at a time right. we've had a couple of little you know hurdles like you know global pandemics <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there. We do hope you come by for lunch and or dinner. We still are doing takeout. Uh, you can go to our website, which is eatwithfred.com, to see all of our menus. You can also go to Drink with Fred, which is our event website, and you can see all the upcoming events. We're doing a dive-in movie every Thursday in October. Right, for so Halloween. So for right. Halloween, we're showing classic Halloween, and we're also doing a prefix sit-down menu uh, dinner for Halloween proper. Okay. Again, adults only, unfortunately. We are no adult, adults only. We like hotel. that. But I like go, getting away from my kids. But go to drinkwithfred.com and it'll show you all the details and give you the menus of what's coming up. Now, who, um, who, who's, who's that character behind you? That, that That's a huge portrait. Is that the mascot of, of Fred? That is pretty much the mascot. Yeah. Uh, that if, Is this an adult show? Oh, yes, it is. That, yeah, that's yes, that's, that's Topher's Big Red Rooster. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Is, is is that one of the local the local roosters roaming the streets of, of Fredericksted? Is that's he like the star of Fredericksted? So Absolutely. The uh, the owners designers are uh, big art lovers and art supporters, and they found an artist who actually, if you want to pan over here real quick and show this, art. this is also some of her work. They found two small pieces that they absolutely fell in love with. They commissioned two more, 
And if you want to pan all the way around and show the rest of the, um, the art. Um, so what they did was they really enjoyed her art. It sort of tied into the, you know, wild chickens walking around Frederick's deck. And so after the four, first four pieces were commissioned, then they decided to have this. The showcase the, piece. The main piece, the yes. purple piece. Yes. Did, did you guys know? Did you guys know I I did a I did a um I did a shoot in Little Havana in uh, okay. Cuba, little Cuba in Miami. Mm -hmm. And and so I got uh, got an opportunity to, to connect with some of the local folks in Little Havana in in Miami. And there was this huge statue of a rooster. And I'm like I saw these roosters all over the place. I'm like what the roosters. Did you guys know roosters is a symbol of royalty? Uh, according that's to the Cubans? No. I know they're a symbol of waking you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but it, it, they're supposed to represent wealth and and and, okay. and, and wealth and, and royalty. Yeah. I, I did not know that. And so when I see the Fred having such a prominent role for roosters in, in your art, I, I thought maybe somehow you guys knew the history behind that as well. Our symbol for the hotel is a crown because we are, are named after not only the town of Frederickstead, but the King Frederick of Denmark. So that's where the name came from. Mm -hmm. So now that we know the, the royalty tie in and that our logo is a crown. But on the side, though, right? So right. Yeah, yeah, hotel. Yes, the hotel. Yeah. It was designed that way. Yeah. So, but that, makes, we're a little off. That, makes, that makes a great connection there. Anthony, so. Okay, so you guys um, talked. You, you did a tour earlier. You said, uh, "Are we are we gonna? What's what? The, the, the talk to us about this." Yeah, so I checked in today, thanks to um, Scott and the owners and the management of the Fred Hotel. Um, I checked in today, um, this afternoon, and Scott went ahead and showcased my room, showed me my room, but then went ahead and showed all the other different rooms that they offer here at the Fred. So, if you guys don't mind, we're going to show you like a little clip of our little morning stroll. Hey, Scott. Hey, Jessica. How are you? Good. Thanks for welcome, having us. Welcome to the Fred. I heard you were checking in today. I am. Middle of the week vacation. Well, Why so, not? So glad to have you here. Right. Hey, listen, before you get checked in, I'd like to show you a couple of the rooms that we have okay. just for your guests and your audience and stuff like that. So, hey, okay. welcome to the Fred. And Thank you. let me show you the room you're checking into, and then I'll show okay. you a couple of the other ones, okay? Perfect. Thank Come you on so this much. way. All right. So this is the this is the James Suite. James Suite. After you. So I'll, I'll just leave my bag here. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you around real quick, real quick. So this is our largest waterfront suite. Uh, it's one of our premier suites. It's considered a tier one. Tier. Uh, it's called the James, and it is right on the ocean. Uh, Look at that view. The views are pretty spectacular. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so this is our only two room suite. It's got its own separate living room, a separate bedroom, huge bathroom, these great picture windows that are right here on the ocean. Um, all the rooms have got the same amenities, air conditioning, flat screen TVs, mini bars, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, this particular room has its own fold out tempur couch, Come on. which is quite nice. Uh, can I show you the bedroom? Yeah. After you. Thank you. So most of our rooms have king size beds. Um, and we kept a little piece of the historic part. This is a, the original uh -huh. seawall from the original property. Mm -hmm. That's out all dated 1755, which is kind of cool. That's awesome. And then you get to wake up every morning and look at this view. Oh my God. <laughs> and steps away. Just did you, steps did away. you count the steps to the ocean? Yet? I think it's like 15. Right. It's like nothing. nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Fantastic. All, All right. right. Would you like to see one of the other rooms upstairs? I would like to see Let's go. as many as we can on this on this journey today. Let's go. Thanks for having us again. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. That's the James. That's one of our premier waterfront suites. So. Doesn't get better than that, guys. Seriously. I mean, your own private deck. They have a you know little living room. With, now did, has a fold out couch, mm -hmm. Tempur-Pedic, and then beautiful, now, beautiful. That that was called. I want to make, want to make sure I, that was the Jace, the J Jace switch yeah. suite. James J A S. Yes. Yep. James oh, James yeah. suite. Okay. Okay. All okay. five rooms have and, and, names, and they're all named after the most historically prominent person that lived or stayed in the building before it became a hotel. And we can go over that another time. So. Fantastic. Fantastic.
there and, might and, be an Anthony out there. There might be a Jessica. We don't know. <laughs> A Jessica, a Jessica Sweet. Not bad. I, I think you're I think you're lobbying really hard there, Jessica. All right, so uh let's go to the next the next room. Oh, so upstairs here. We are upstairs from the okay. suite we were just in. This building is actually called the Love Shack. And this lovely room is called the Rachel. This is sort of our honeymoon suite. And all the woodwork is original uh when we bought the property. Um, it also has this great little Juliet balcony. Oh my gosh, um, love it. it this is a special room when you look at the views. <laughs> if you want to step out real quickly. I mean, sunsets, breakfast, lunch, you Coffee in the morning, yeah. champagne. I love it. Oh, beautiful. And, and I love the, the original woodwork. The original woodwork, the high ceilings. Uh, we try to keep as much as possible. Uh, from the original. Um, the nice thing about this suite is that you got a separate room with the sink and the closet and a separate room with the bathroom and the showers over there. So it gives you a little privacy even if you are on your honeymoon or a special event or something like right. that. Right, so. absolutely. And again, all the rooms have the same amenities, air conditioning, uh, commercial grade, tempur mattresses, uh, high thread count, uh, comfy sheets, all that right, kind of good stuff. Of Mini bars, microwaves, all that kind of good stuff. So I love it. It's the uh, whole mantra that we're bringing back all of the amenities that small boutique resorts should have. So with the history, with the history yeah. and the view, it's yes. not too bad. Oh, well, so, come on. Well, right, let me show you a couple more real quick. Okay, okay? perfect. I think it's really cute. The name of the love chef. Yeah. The owners put a lot of thought into uh, branding the property, and you know, again, there's a lot of history to each of these buildings, and because that was sort of the the honeymoon suite, and it was just a it's a cute small building, and only has two rooms in it, and I think it was just appropriate to call it, you know, the Love Shack, and it just it sticks in your head, basically. You, you know, I I wanted I wanted to bust out in that song Love Shack. I really I think it's what is called one in the song, you know. They like walked on like the um the welcome mat and it's they're playing the song. Shack. I'll send that off to Topher <laughs> and let's see if we can make that happen. But it's cute, <laughs> cute, you know. So uh, so that was a beautiful room and I love that the outside. What do you prefer that? The Julia Balcony. Yep. It's right overlooking the ocean. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, and it's one of our more more requested rooms. Yeah. Too, so. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 go to the next room. I love the Danish brick. Well, this is all original Danish brick, you know, all from the 1700s. We're very happy to have here on the property. And this is actually called the Douglas House, uh, owned by the Douglas family. It was their vacation home for years. And this is the Murray Suite. Turn the lights on for us here. Now, this is a suite. It's awfully dark. So let me turn. <laughs> we may have to do this again. Hang on a second. Yeah, no, we got it. This is amazing. And this accommodates more, I mean, you know, for- This people. is one of our largest rooms. Yes. This was the yes. living room for the house when it was a vacation home. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've converted it into uh, what we call the Murray Suite. Uh, it's got a double, uh, two king size beds. It's also our only unit that has a small kitchen. And the unique thing about this building is we have two rooms up front and the small Aunt B Suite next door. And there's an interconnected hallway that uh, we can unlock and you can basically rent the entire top floor of the building and turn it into a villa. Oh. So if you're coming with your family, you can come here and have breakfast. Right, or you know. bachelorette party, or and, whatever. Yeah, mom and dad can have their own room and their right. own bathroom and things like that. This, this is amazing, I love it. And it has all the amenities. There's, you know, plates this and silverware. This, all this woodwork is original, so we try to save as much as possible. In the bathroom. And we have what's, a beautiful bathroom. What's going on with that bathroom? That. That's awesome. So all of our bathrooms are sort of the European style en suite. We have all the amenities. Um, yeah, this is great. Fun showers. Yeah. All that kind of good yeah. stuff. So I love it. Beautiful balcony, like I said. And all, I love your artwork, by the way. Thanks. That was chosen by Christopher Swanson, who designed most of the interiors of the rooms. And a quick side note, uh, the lady who owned this property was worked for the Brunswick and Fee uh, Fabric House out of Paris. Mm -hmm. So all of the fabrics that you see here, the pillows, the duvet covers, and the carpets are all Brunswick and Fee prints and as an homage to her. Really? Yeah. Wow. The owner put a little thought into everything. Oh, obviously, yes. And I can't wait to throw one of those robes on here shortly. Great. And then all the rooms uh, have either a private balcony or a shared balcony. Right. 
That that was that that was a pretty room. I I, I got to tell you, I for some reason I really like that room. It's it's open, it's eerie, it's lights, it's 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 a lot. It's a nice room. I, I just like the vibe of the room, and um, I'm just wondering what what went into term, went into the designing of the room in terms of obviously you name the room and how you lay out the room. Mm -hmm. okay. So talk a little bit about that. Well, again, uh, Christopher Swanson and Jeff Prince are de designer build uh, property developers out of the D.C. area. So they've done this before. This is the first time they've done a resort necessarily. Um, they took the space that was uh, available. They actually lived in that space for quite some time when they first moved to St. Croix. Uh, so they could sit there and envision what this could be as opposed to breaking that large space up mm -hmm. into two small standard hotel rooms. Let's do something big. You know, if you're coming down with, say, two couples and you like each other enough to share a hotel room, that we have something that is not just two queen size beds in a tight space. You've got a little bit more open air. You also, like you said, we could open up the villa mm -hmm. and you can use the space for gatherings, for, you know, say bridal showers, family events, things and, like that. And I spent, I spent a weekend there with my girls. Right. And that was my girlfriend's birthday. So yeah. it lends itself beautifully yeah. to that kind yeah. of thing. So, and you want a little space where you're not on top mm -hmm. of each other. Hey, hey, Jessica, your dress matched that room just now. The it dress did. that you wear, it matched the room. Like that, okay? I'm good like that. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's Wait, move on. To the, <laughs> absolutely. Let's move on to the next room. I think we really got. Well, the view uh, again. <laughs> and the swimming pool. Well, Jess, this is part of what uh, uh, we consider the new build. Okay. So the three main buildings are all historic, and the owner designers uh, have created these two new buildings, and this is what we consider one of the pool suites, and this is called the Jeffrey. The Jeffrey, so, okay. Yeah, Come I on like in. this room. Oh, it feels so good. So again, amazing. This is one of our larger rooms. Um, again, steps from the pool, just a few feet from the restaurant to the bar. And I mean, look at that. The view is not bad. <laughs> uh, the owners custom designed the headboards. Um, you know, obviously full mini bar. This one's got a lot more space just to you know stretch out and relax. Yeah. This one actually has a couch in it. And then um, one of the best features is the bathroom. Oh boy. <laughs> Another bathroom. Well, this is not. I'm gonna have to my bathrooms, Scott. This, this is not just a bathroom. <laughs> So yes. there's, a, there's a little space in here for uh, a little, two, a dance party, a dance party mm -hmm. or whatever. And then obviously, if you so choose, this is the oh, view oh in the gosh. morning. Look at this, Anthony. Come look at this. This is amazing. Oh, love it. You can even call the bartender. Right. Can I have a Bloody Mary? Can you send over a bottle of champagne? Okay. Um, and one of the side notes is because we are the first new build on the island in 30 years, that all of the ground floor rooms have to be ADA compliant. So we're all handy accessible. So these bathrooms, these doorways, oh, all right. stuff, yep. all handy accessible. Obviously. So by code, we had to do it. We also we wanted to do it to make ourselves more accessible to a, a, a client. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. And we have. I think I, I'm going to show you some of the new build, and that's down at 4105, which is yet to be named. It's right down the hallway. How about I show you that? Maybe we'll name it the Jessica. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps pushing on this uh, Jessica. <laughs> it's, really, it's really starting to bother us. Absolutely. So, so, so this is the, this is the last room. So we we're, 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 we're need to wrap up the show. So let's close out with the last room. Okay. Uh, and then any final thoughts uh, before we have, I, I play the, uh, the last room, show the last room? No, let's go, let's I mean, we'll see what we, what, you know, next week. Okay, yeah. good. Well, oh, fantastic. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you. All right. Thank you, buddy. Jessica, this is the last room I want to show you. After that, I'll let you get settled into your room and start enjoying the Fred. But I have a little surprise for you. Me too. Go ahead. Okay. It won't be a surprise unless you discover it yourself. Right, I'll be right back.
So this is part of our new build. Uh, this building did not exist, but it's part of our 22 rooms. Uh, the owner designers created this building to look just like the three historic buildings. Uh, it's eight more suites. Uh, like I said earlier, all the ground floor rooms are all ADA compliant, and but they all have the same amenities. Uh, they all are king size beds, beautiful European style ensuite bathrooms, air conditioning, flat screen TVs, and things like that, and some beautiful views of the ocean overlooking the pool and the grounds. So Jess, did you find the surprise yet? I did, thank you. Ah, and cheers to you too. Cheers, well come on in. Thank you. So this is one of our new rooms. Uh, we've got hand painted murals, so all the rooms will be slightly different, have their own unique personality. Uh, again, all the same amenities that all of our rooms have. So spacious, modern, the bathrooms are like European style en suite. Love um, it. And also this room happens to be steps away from the spa. So, so And I'm assuming that's where I'm going. That's that's the other surprise. So, so cheers, thank you. So next time we will next week we'll we'll visit the spa. Right. Well, Does listen, that sound great? Fantastic. So thanks for having me. Okay.